Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Gala, we are trading at 0 0.0411, 24 hour volume, we're up 18% and market cap, we are up 0.78%. So in today's video, we're going to go over immediate short term for four hours. Like in our last video, we were taking a look at this possible chart pattern at the very bottom, which is a bottom um, double bottom chart pattern. And essentially we were looking for a breakout around the neckline here of 0 0.0408. Eight, six. We did break above it. However, we did fall short in coming up to our projected target here at the 4258. We did see a few factors again with the momentum and the RSI. So it looked like the RSI here was tapped up around 94% as soon as the price was heading close towards an area of resistance from our tops on March 29th going into April 2nd. So we can see this area as an area of resistance. And because we saw that sharp being overbought and then it triggered that selling opportunity here by the K line dipping below our D line, it was basically capped up at this level and we didn't have enough momentum to come up and break above and going into our target in our last video. Um, on top of that, if we kind of pair up with the overbought signal and giving us that signal to sell, we did ultimately see a weakness of our momentum of our MACD indicator. So we did approach above 0%, which did help us in breaking above this neckline. However, again, we were anticipating a higher wave. So we wanted more of these histograms, more of these, you know, extensions of these dark green candles, but instead we were capped up from the previous action on March 26th. And then now we're seeing lighter colors and losing that momentum. Um, if we do scale back and look at more of a broader scope of this four hour time frame, we're not take, we're not looking like we are impulsive breaking out in the upside or breaking down in the downside. It actually looks like we are consolidating and consolidation is a temporary pause either of the previous trend or it could initiate a possible trend reversal. So we can see this downtrend coming up and then all of a sudden we're flatlining coming down to an area of support, resistance support. So we're seeing that consolidation by price moving in a zigzag formation. So this may possibly show us either a continuation of this downtrend because we are temporarily pausing or we are amping up for a breakout in an uptrend. And in order to validate that breakout in an uptrend for that reversal, we need to make sure we break through this resistance line. So if we count how many times we retested it, it was one, two, three. We could count this as a fourth one, but overall three times or four times that we have retested this area of resistance, whereas the support area, we retested it one, two, and three times. So again, we're not really seeing a whole lot of impulse from the buyers or the sellers. That's why they call it zigzag or um, consolidation. We do ultimately need to come up and retest this area of resistance here. So knowing that is our goal to have a reversal here for Gala for the immediate short term for four hours. We do essentially need to make sure that the MACD indicator does still stay above 0%. If we do fall below 0% from our uh, MACD line and our signal line, it is going to trigger or signal that the price may do a continuation of the previous trend. And we know the previous trend here was a downwards trend. Um, so where the price is going to go, in my opinion, in today is going to be a retest of our 50% of our FIB. Again, a very well-known area of support here, 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 and then the last few candlestick wicks, if we can take a look at that. So if the price is able to hold on to the 50%, it is going to continue through that consolidation squeeze. If we see the price coming down to the 4026 and we see a change of the MACD indicator flipping from the green that we're currently at over to the red, it is going to ultimately break the 50%. And we are going to be taking a look at this next area of support, which is the 390. 970. Again, we can see a few of our candlesticks coming down to this immediate support before hitting the 38%. But I'm hoping we do hold on to that 50 in 
um, you know, in our long term of trying to retest this area of support, I don't really see a whole lot from our Bollinger Bands. What we're looking for is a Bollinger Band squeeze and then initiating a breakout depending on where the price is. If it is above our 20 moving average and we see that Bollinger Band squeeze, we are going to um, see that breakout in the uptrend and then retest this area of resistance. But that's kind of our long-term overall goal in the four-hour time frame. What we need to be able to look at in order to retest this area of resistance and continue for a reversal. If we do see multiple attempts of um, retesting our area of support, it is going to continue that downtrend that we saw dating back from March 18th. It is going to do a continuation on that. So that's my video here for Gala. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you next time.